Hey, fellow Coronians. Hey, I'm sure all of you are cooped up, tired, sick of being in the house. Uh, well, we are. So we've decided to do something that I don't even know if we're gonna be able to do this, to be honest. We may not, we might give up. We're lucky enough we live next door to a park that has a half a mile track around the park. Um, so our thought is, is this, is to get us out, get us moving, get the uh, coronies off of us, is to do a marathon. But this is not a, gonna be a typical traditional marathon. What we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna start it early. And I'm talking early like 3 a.m. in the morning, maybe even earlier, maybe two o'clock, I don't know, whatever time I can get these guys up. And uh, we're gonna do one mile every hour. Uh, the, first two, the first two hours we'll probably do a couple miles because we're gonna do it for 24 hours straight. As we've made a chart, and on the chart, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna record every hour the time that we that we complete our uh, our one mile in. Uh, I did my marathon in just barely over five hours. So this is what's going to really be interesting to see is can we do it faster? Is it going to be slower um, doing it one mile every hour? None of us have have done any training whatsoever. So anyways, we'll see. Well, all five of us are going to do it. Um, like I say, we might end up getting halfway through and be like this is the dumbest thing i've ever done but come along with us and and uh see what we can do all right and so it begins you probably can't see me right now but that's okay you can hear me i thought while we were doing this might as well make some good use of it and look at the right side of it instead of the doom and gloom. And I really believe that things happen for a reason. You may not always know what those reasons are, but there's always a reason to something. So we're going to try to look at the, the bigger picture and think of this as a big pause button or reset button that's been pushed and look for the silver lining in things like this so what we're gonna do is every mile we're gonna think of one thing we're thankful for one silver lining if you will of this coronavirus pandemic so I guess that is my number one mile around thankful for is that we have opportunities like this to hit a pause button and really think about what life is about, what's really most important. So there's number one. Number two is family time. When you get teenagers, they don't come home very often, so it's been nice to have them around. Sun's finally up. It's a 7 a.m. sunrise. So far, so good. We're kind of, I think we got shot out of a shotgun right at the beginning, which was not good because we were gun ho. We hit it hard running and now we're feeling it pretty good. Well, it could be that we're not really in shape, let's be honest. <laughs> Anyways, we're still plugging along. There's the boys back there. Doing back there, peeps. We're dying. <laughs> <laughs> this is number ten. Woo! Ten. Um, you notice we're not running right now. <laughs> oh, we'll pick it up here in a second. Come on, let's do it. Ready? Go. No. <sighs> Come on, let's do it. Come on. Come on, you wet beast. Mile 13. Okay, 
say this is halfway here as soon as we're done with this one anyways. And boy, do I feel good. I feel like I could go another 26. Yes. <laughs> How about you guys? I, I'm gonna go another 26 laps. Oh man, I'll tell you what, our legs are dying right now. This is the, officially, the craziest thing the Weston family has ever done. We're only halfway. They're trying to talk me into doing a half of a marathon. Um, what do you guys think? Thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm going with a thumbs down. I don't think so. I think we full send it. For out of the box thinking. And the box is small. For a good book to read. That we have less hours of school. For the sun. For Netflix and Disney Plus. For pain. I love to make my boys feel pain. For technology to be able to keep in touch with people. For a park across the street. For good shoes. For Skype and Google Hangouts so I can still talk to my friends. Hey, I want to hear what you guys out there are doing for uh, these quarantine days. This is what we're doing and I'm telling you what, coronavirus might be a better option at this point. No, I don't think so. No way. This is just making us tougher, right? So yeah, comment below, tell us what you guys are doing. All right, we made it, mile two zero, number 20. I'm still smiling, Cam, you still smiling? Barely. It's like a forced smile, believe me. I gotta tell you, whoever came up with this idea it was... It was you! Oh. <laughs> it was, it was, okay, it was me, but oh man, if I knew that I would be hurting, all of us would be hurting, this bad at mile 20 and I don't think we would have done it no way we were very ill prepared but you know what we're this far into it. we can't quit now these guys these kids I tell you what I'm proud of them it's definitely been some tears some pain it's almost puking. Oh, that was me. <laughs> but, anyways, they have stuck it out. When I mean, they could have easily said, I'm done, no way. I'm done, no more of this. But they have stuck it out and have kept with it. So I am way proud of them. Or bidets. Yeah, that's right. I said bidet. For Easter to celebrate with my family, just us at home, it was fun. For pain medication and deep blue. For cell phones. For good health. For a good job that lets me telecommute to work. For a house to keep me safe and warm. For a good bed to sleep in. For our good neighbors. Board games. All right, we did it. 27 miles. 52 laps around that stinking park. 5.2 miles per lap. We actually ended up doing a little over 27 miles. Um, so even a little better than a, than a marathon. But you know what, we did it. All five of us did it. We did it together. In fact, the last lap we did, we ran the whole thing together. There was no big banner at the end. There was no balloons, no party at the end. Nobody cheering us on. It was something that you know we wanted to do. We wanted to push ourselves to see if we could do it, and we did it. You know what, sometimes it's the best things in life that go unnoticed. It was just something that, that we as a family wanted to do and then proved to ourselves that we could do it, and we did it. For five people to do that without training, my youngest is 12, and he fought through it and he finished that. We all did, that's impressive. Just a, a final recap, if you notice Braxton, he actually, we recorded the times and Braxton actually did finish in, in less than five hours. In the end, was it worth it? Heck yeah it was. It hurt and it was a lot of pain and we barely made it, but heck yeah it was worth it. Would I do it again? Mmm, I don't know, maybe with the grandkids later. I don't know. Um, but it's something to check off the uh, off the bucket list. Let's say we did it. Something that we can carry with us forever. We'll always remember it, never forget it. We did as a family during during this uh, quarantine.
quarantine time, this time that we can all be together as a family and find different things to keep us going, keep us moving. Sorry, I've got to jump in here and interrupt this blabbering idiot before he makes me cry. I got to put one last plug in for my wife, Gina. She has a bad knee and she pushed through that every step of the way. She pushed through it. Um, she didn't do it for her own pride, but she did it to prove to the boys that even when things get tough, you can keep pushing through it. You can push through that pain, and she did that. And for that, I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful for her. And thank you so much. You're the best. I love you. Now back to that blabbering idiot. And actually, if you notice, I, I never did give a, a number 26 as a thing I'm thankful for. And and this is it, is right here. I am thankful that, that we as a family, we were, we were able to do that. And it's those hard things that we do in life that, that make us stronger. Sometimes I come up with these crazy ideas and you know what, it's, it's a good family that uh, will go do these crazy things with me. And that's what, that's what makes us as a family, that, that's what makes us stronger. So we can, do, we can do things like that and be together and enjoy each other's company and, and build on each other to become stronger, become a stronger individual and a stronger family. So that's that's my number 26, is, is being able to do things like this that uh, create strong bonds between us and, and make us better, stronger people. And, and, and knowing that we can do hard things and, and we can push through the pain and and look back at these times and, and know that, that, hey, tomorrow's gonna come and we're gonna be better people because of the, the hard things that we do. So just in the end, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this motivates you guys to get out, maybe do some stuff, even if it's not during these quarantine times, just just get out, do stuff, do stuff with your family, do stuff together. I hope if anything that, that I can motivate you. And like I say, you guys go out there and make your own Corona-thon, whatever it is. If it's running around a park, if it's, if it's going for a drive, um, whatever it is, go out there and, and, and make memories that will last forever. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you on the next video. See ya.